going by putting up the guard. Good shot. Yeah. Shot. Let's go, Jude. Let's do this, girl. Judy Leonard. Line's good. White's good. Line's good. Just top four, four no deeper. Just clean. Just clean. Okay. It looks like Back a lot. Forward. All by itself. Nope, just let it sit. Back forward. Nope, just let it sit. Throw another corner. Nice wait, Jude. Nice wait, Jude. It's behind the button. But I like putting another one. You want to play there. that? What about another corner? Another corner? Oh it's only your shots. I like the corner call. Or do you like going around it? I, I, no? Rather than go around it, I would freeze yeah, to I it. Like that. I would freeze or tap it a few inches exactly. I wouldn't play any weight for a roll. Weight's good. Jane Hooper per row. Yeah, I think so. Make him even. Okay. All right. Okay, Jane. Jam. What you like? <clears throat> Are they parallel? Oh no, this one's higher. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Keep it up a bit, Sandra. You often go after the one guard that you think is the best guard, and that means Later, that they can get yeah. around it the best and get good motion on Hurry. their stones and get it buried. Hurry! Hurry, hurry. Sandra Mulroney. Good shot. Not a girl. And the shooter spins out as well. One more corner. You want to go here? Or you want to put a tight corner here? One more tight one. Maybe play one more. Tight. Play one more corner, then they'll go back and play the freeze, I would think. Corey Beveridge. Or they come around. It's tight. Wait's good. Make him even. Coming down hard. Hmm. Well, they thought that Stay one had wide. lots of weight, and it's just going to get over the hog line. Well, either Ontario or Saskatchewan Shot, will go Corey. to three and zero. The only other undefeated team so far is Prince Edward Island, yeah. as they get ready for their final stone. Susan McKinnis from Charlottetown in a five-five tie against New Brunswick has to draw full eight foot for the win, and their third straight here in Thunder Bay. McInnes from the Charlottetown Curling Club needs full eight. Now everyone out trying to drag it as far as they can. Shot Stone is sitting back eight. Got to get full eight. Got to get it there for the win. She's going to come up short. And so Barb Hutton from Carlton, New Brunswick will steal the win. And PEI their first loss. New Brunswick will win their first. PEI now two and one. New Brunswick one and two. The last shot Saskatchewan did peel off the guard. The one to the left of center as we look at the sheet. Maryland's trying to come around. Yep. Now this one really took off. She wasn't playing the raise. Okay. What do you like now? <laughs> Can't get them all off is what she's saying. Maybe we should play the tight guard. As long as it's tight, that's the shot. What do you guys like? Can't get all the corner guards off. 
What do you guys like? Can't get rid of all of them. Pardon? Can't get rid of all of them. Like this? Yeah, I don't mind that. Even if we're here, that's not bad. Okay. So am I playing that? Just top four. Like, they still got the roll, but what do we do? Okay. You guys like that? We'll be yeah. back with round seven of the Scott Tyler Tournament of, Tournament of Hearts. Okay. So you be top four. Monday afternoon at 2.30 p.m. We'll feature Newfoundland against British Columbia. Silky. Straight. Hurry! Straight guard! Whoa! Whoa, we're gonna overcut. Whoa, guys, whoa! Easy, no, no, no. Straight guard. Light. We're gonna overcut, though. More than anything, Just I let think. let it sit. Yeah, boy. Hey, when you call the one in, the reason is you don't want to leave up the guard. Yeah. You even thought about peeling guard, so you're calling it in. You can't come up short, and unfortunately, she also overcurled that. Back rock is totally exposed. You definitely have to be to the rings. With yeah, that I gotta shot. make a play here now, eh? Yeah, what about behind the corner? Okay. Um. 13. 13. Well, that's. Hmm. Yeah, 13. Establishing the weight, they're playing the hit and roll. For Kim Gillard. And the first Ontario third stone no. here in this 10th. Right off. Saskatchewan leading by two. Close. Yep. Yes. Hey! Hey, Dave! Hey! Right over, right over. Shoot. Well, Maryland called right off. I don't know if Kim was a little outside the target yeah. line, but yeah, could have been swept early. I yeah. think they might have gotten the, the roll. Yeah, be okay. if they get to that early, it's a perfect shot. She got three rocks to roll behind. A lot. Okay, just normal. You think like this better? Yeah. Okay. These will go behind our own rather than go behind one of theirs. Normal? Yeah. Just play down to it now, tap it back. I right didn't call it very well. Right to the face of it. Sorry about that. No shit. Can you see any of it? Oh yeah. Pass. Right about there. And they've got the good guards up, but that's a nice stone, the red one, just about the T line. They've yep. got to tap it a little bit. Just a frame. Just a freeze. Yes. Angle yes, freeze hurry. is fine. Freeze on the face hurry, of it. Guys, hurry. 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 This is going sideways. I think it's a little light again. Yeah. Marilyn Bodo jumps out as well. Come on, guys. Got it by. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's good. That's good. That'll work. The weight was fine. Yeah, That'll actually, work. it just curled. It just moved a lot more. You know, if you move over a little bit too. So tight? Hey, no, you weren't tight. You just haven't really played a draw. Especially to that wing. You know, to that wing, and I couldn't get a read yeah. off Corey's. Yeah. I thought I was light. God. Yeah. Let's go, Cher. It's nice here. Even this. this isn't bad. No. Let's go. You put the stone right here in this area here, and you heard her comment. Even if I happen to be up here, that's fine. What's that? No. <laughs> It's not, it's not getting any heavier. Yeah. Okay. We it's can undercut, hard. we can't overcut. Okay. That really curls a long way. That was surprising. It really fooled Marilyn. And you heard Kim say that she thought that she that she'd thrown it light, but uh, it got there okay. It it's just Saskatchewan, their first skip start. Where is it? Sherry Shirk. 
It's gonna be short. Whoa. Whoa. Where is it? Line's good, easy. No line yet. We got no line. No, no line. line. There we go. There we go. Finish. Finish. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Finish. Whoa. 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on. Perfect. Absolutely. Good shot. Their second, I think. I don't know. I think we're second. Yeah, this is a this is a, a key because Marilyn can see enough of it just to touch it. I think Linda touch the shot rock. It certainly depends on who's second second shot. I think it's them. It's a pretty tough freeze too. I can't you see know? a lot for the freeze. Time. Second. Time out for Ontario. They're trying to decide which of these two shots. Try the freeze. No, no, it's pretty tough. Corner. Well, we have to just worry about getting by that red one. Kim thinks that the uh, that the red stone, the one thrown the right guard. there, is yeah. second shot. You heard her say, I think this they one, are. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Listen to them. Do you like on. drawing around the center with the outturn? This way? But this way. Yeah. Yeah. Get your two. We just have to be half in the four. Yeah, because if you don't make sure. Which way do you want to bury? No, I think it's them. Maybe take a quick look. It'll bury this way, too. I like coming this way. Yeah, because even if we're taught, mm -hmm. we just have to be half in the four. Yeah, half in the four foot. Behind this one. Is uh, Linda this the better turn? Will this turn give you a little bit uh, more curl? I like this shot better. Okay. They were looking yeah, at the good. freeze, and yes, it sort of depends okay. on whose second yeah. shot, but yep. it's a very, very Full difficult four. freeze. And I like this better. I think there's more options of getting around this and getting a, a corner covered and make it difficult to remove if you do that. You also don't have to be totally covered because no. if you show the outside, it makes it a very tough tough hit to remove without driving it back into that like group of stones sitting on the other side of the rings. Ontario with just two stones left and trailing by two. Saskatchewan still time, with three five. minutes left, and they'll call their second time out. What can you see of this? Nothing. Freeze right to it. Well, if you take the center line How and, do we freeze on and this side, uh, though? run yourself back, yeah, you take the center line her, here and run yourself back a little bit, you'll see that you can't see very much of it all. Here, we'll listen right? to her. For a second. Right. You may as well come this way. It's pretty well buried. I think play it, come in here because then that takes away her draw. Um, yeah. Rather than come around this way the way she come, if we come this way and corner freeze it. If you freeze right on top of her right there, that's, that's good. Well, then, then she, there's no way, how's she gonna get well, two? She'd kill, she'd kill her own with this one here. <clears throat> you, would, you would leave her the possible yeah. hit and try and come up off of our own for two. It'd be a very tough shot. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah. You gotta be careful though, you yeah. don't leave her a double. No, I well, top either, four. Either way, we're gonna be playing a freeze, but we, I think we gotta play oh, a yeah, freeze we gotta, this way. We gotta block off the button. Yeah. 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 No, let's freeze right on top of it. I like 
Yeah. Okay, right here. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. That's good. So the weight I just threw. We'll yeah. do it. It's perfect. Yeah. We never swept that till the very, very no. end. Okay, Cher, let's do this. You know it. Cher, time to wait on this, though, because we're starting on this line. The last little bit of encouragement from her third, Colleen Zilke. Same weight will do it. Sherry Shurick gets ready for her final stone. Okay, I gotta wait on this because we're taking quite a bit of ice. It's coming around into this area here. She's up by two, leading six to four. Okay, line's good. But without Easy. last rock. Can't be deep no. here. No line yet. We're going to set up no the same line. situation no, no that occurred last line. game. No, no, no. No, got to be top four. There we go. Oh. Easy, no bump. Yep. Yeah. No whoa, bump. Whoa, whoa. No bump. She doesn't want to roll whoa, off whoa. it. That's what she's seeing. No bump. Don't move it. Little bump. Uh. Nice shot. I think the red. I'm not sure it even matters because they way. need two. I don't see how they can get two without getting rid of that red one. Have I got anything over there? No. TSN, coast to coast. Friday night, 7.30 Eastern, 8 o'clock in Newfoundland. A different time, and at times it seems that time has stood still in Newfoundland, a special kind of place, and a special kind of curler who has dominated Newfoundland women's curling for the past three years. Laura Phillips and her team from the St. John's Curling Club are back again at the Scott Tournament of Hearts. In 1994, she was the all-star skip. Her third, Kathy Cunningham, was the most dominant third. They made it all the way to a tiebreaker before losing to Sandra Peterson. For Laura Phillips and Newfoundland, maybe their time has finally come here at the Scott Tournament of Hearts. This is the time of the week when maybe the adrenaline has faded from the first two days and you have to dig just that much deeper to find what it takes to win a Scott Tournament of Hearts. British Columbia has won seven Canadian Women's Curling Championships, three of them being Scott Tournament of Hearts. The first was by, she hasn't changed a bit, Linda Moore in 1985. And of course, we all remember from Victoria, Pat Sanders, the winner in 87. And the last BC champion was 1991 and Julie Sutton. Now though, looking to win an eighth Canadian Women's Championship, it's all left up to Jody Bush. morning sixth round hey we won again Newfoundland a winner over the Yukon Northwest Territories Team Canada is on a roll Connie Laliberti beats New Brunswick 8-5 it was also a win for Saskatchewan to remain undefeated four straight wins now for Sherry Sherrick as she beats Maureen Bonner from Brandon Manitoba final 8-2 and Ontario rebounds from their loss on Sunday night to beat Nova Scotia and hand Colleen Jones another loss. So heading into round seven, Monday afternoon, Saskatchewan remains undefeated. And look at the log jam and look at the separation as we might have expected. Team Canada, Newfoundland, Ontario at three and one. BC, PEI at two and one. Manitoba at 500, and then everyone else on the downside through Quebec, the Yukon Northwest Territory, still looking for their first wins here in Thunder Bay. 
our featured game in round seven. Three and one, Laura Phillips against two and one, Jody Bush, Newfoundland and British Columbia. The 1996 Scott Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by the Scott family of products. It's hard to believe, I think, that this June, it'll be 15 years. June of 1981, that the Terry Fox Marathon of Hope came to an end. Some 3,000 miles into his cross-Canada run, the Marathon of Hope ended here on the Trans-Canada Highway just outside of Thunder Bay. But today, this monument stands as a testimony to his courage. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Thunder Bay, TSN's continuing coverage, third day coverage of this 96 Scott Tournament of Hearts. And in our featured seventh round game, Newfoundland against British Columbia. We know all kinds of things about Newfoundland. Laura Phillips from St. John's. We've seen her many times, three time defending Newfoundland champion. But the unknown team, British Columbia. Jody Bush from Fort St. John, a surprise winner to many in BC. With more, Lyndon Ray. Well, Ray, these are the tough days. We've had the weekend. The players are getting used to the ice. Now you really have to dig in and concentrate as the week progresses. For sure. You know, they've had a couple of games, uh, you know, four, three, four games, and uh, they all start to feel a little more comfortable. You can hear them say that, and they talk about it a lot. Laura Phillips, for example, didn't look very strong in her opening game. We covered that one, but she's really got it going now. She's three and one. They were just a, off in the small things, and the ice is a little bit tricky. It's a little bit difficult, especially draw weight. But uh, she feels comfortable now. She's three and one, and I think she'll be tough today. And BC coming on strong as well. They haven't really grappled well with the draw weight either. 62% in their draws so far, 70% in their hits. So they're favoring that style of game. But they're playing solidly throughout the lineup. But as I say, this is where they really have to concentrate. They're playing a tough, experienced team. BC doesn't have that experience, so they really have to focus today. Vic? Now, Terry Fox's personal marathon of hope may have come to an end here in June of 1981, just outside of Thunder Bay, but the legacy of his courage lives on in the annual worldwide Terry Fox Runs. Why not consider continuing the marathon of hope when the Terry Fox Run comes to your town? Walk, jog, or even run sometime this fall. When we come back to Thunder Bay, we'll have round seven for you. It is Newfoundland against British Columbia. The Scott Tournament of Hearts is here on TSN. Welcome back to the Fort William Gardens. On this day three of the 1996 Scott Tournament of Hearts and all four sheets in play. So far in our coverage, we've seen two games on sheet B and we've seen one on sheet D, but now we're gonna move over to the our first look at sheet A. Let's read the ice. Get an idea of what it's doing. Let's read the ice with Ray, brought to you by Unitel. Ice maker Lloyd Stanzel has given us a great sliding surface. From this hog line to this T line, it's running about 23. Now, just clear that. Going around the center guards, quite straight. It, about uh, one and a half to two max. A little better as the ends go on. To get around the corner guards on either side from the Inside out, we're looking at three and a half, maybe close to four later on in the game. It runs very, very straight, especially from the outside in with any kind of weight. But anywhere on the ice surface, if you step the weight up, it runs very straight. The rocks will not carry. It's a little bit tricky when it comes to draw weight. Let's show you the complete draw here in round seven. Manitoba against Quebec. Two and two, Maureen Bonner against Windless. Zero and three, Stephanie Marshall from Quarter of the Air. Prince Edward Island. Susan McKinnis, Charlottetown, two and one against Ontario, three and one. New Brunswick against Alberta, one and three, one and two. And our featured game, Newfoundland against British Columbia. Teams with buys include Team Canada, three and one. Windless, Yukon Northwest Territories. Saskatchewan at four and zero. Nova Scotia, Colleen Jones at one and three. Featured game, Newfoundland against British Columbia at lead. It'll be Heather Martin and Bev Wheeler. Kathy Kerr, Deb London. Kathy Cunningham, Laurie Garnett are the thirds. 
and the skips. Laura Phillips from St. John's, Jody Bush from Fort St. John. Red Rocks throughout round robin have the hammer, last rock in the first end, so that'll belong to Newfoundland as Jody Bush makes her way out to put down the broom for Bev. her lead. Bev Wheeler, and we're underway here in round seven. Well, it's one of the things, Linda, that I think that I really love about these events is that you, know, you have the Pacific Ocean and you have the Atlantic Ocean, and they, they come from right across the opposite ends of our country, our beautiful country, and and they're locked in a, an important game for both teams. Are we tight? And I was talking about the day of the week. One of the things yeah. about the Mondays, Tuesdays, you're getting a little tired mentally and physically, and it also depends what draws you play. We forget there are morning draws, afternoon and evening. You only play two of the three, and it starts to depend which combination you play. If you're coming off a loss, coming off a win, there's so many factors that come into play about the schedule. Newfoundland, for example, played this morning, maybe a little tired in this game. BC may be a little fresher. But who knows? Uh, we'll have to see how they play. I think you called it the dog day. Yeah. <laughs> when we were talking about it earlier, I did. Dog days of Monday and Tuesday. I found them the yeah, hardest dying. part of the week. Line only. Then you go over the little yeah, hump, line. you're halfway, and Wednesday Three. and Thursday and on, it's fine. T, hurry! Yeah, those are the outside distractions as well as Heather Martin with the first cool. lead stone for Newfoundland. Okay, Heather, okay, that's It'll good. drift to the Mac 12. Nice shot by BC just off the rings in the free guard zone area. And so obviously it cannot be removed from play. And Heather Martin asked to go around. It went a little bit deep. This team from Fort St. John in the East region of the province, Northwest BC. Oil based economy, logging. There's some ranching as well. Count of about 15,000 Fort St. John. Oh, Bev Wheeler. Very nice, Bev. Well, they found a path early, haven't they? Of course, they do get to practice before the game. Had a chance to check it out a little bit. Right at it, aren't they? <laughs> That's a rock. That in. first rock determines so much, and as you said, Ray, nicely placed by BC, Anyways. very close to the rings, Whoa, makes the Heather? come arounds tougher for Heather and the Slide Newfoundland over. team. Where is it? Four foot. Yeah. Clean. Nope. Ah, just clean. Just Whoa. line. Just line. Whoa, right off. There's the late movement I talked about. It'll okay, move Heather. a little bit at the end. It holds all the way. Okay, That's fine. All right. First look at the BC second is Deb London. Jody's calling for a draw. The two red stones belonging to Newfoundland at the back There's are the exposed and could be removed. They could be weight. doubled out. Okay, well, Jody's ignoring them. And coming around the guard. Yeah, this bomb. is a very aggressive move. First Whoa. in without last rock. Whoa. Looks like it's a little heavy and will make the tap. Tootin'. Worked out pretty well. Sure did. Got the rocks in behind each one. That's right. It's bored. There was a little tickle in your throat there. <laughs> you bringing the honey over? <laughs> <laughs> it's a dog days for us too, I guess. Vic travels with a little, <laughs> little number of bees in yes. his room. He has they come in very handy. My, my personal pharmacist. <laughs> 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 You can hear them. Hurry. If you go by his door in the night, you can hear hurry. the little buddies in right there. Hurry. Honey, get on going. Yep. All the way, hurry! Right up, right up, right up. Kathy Kerr, oh. look at this. Whoa. Oh. Okay, Kathy. Oh, gosh. All right. Good. Not the desired shot or results. 13, 13 and a half is good. Chance for. BC to put on some early pressure. And this is where you need that one in front of the T line. You've got that grouping at the back. The opponent can draw to them unless you can get one in front of them that protects that spot. Yep. Yep. Three. Don't want to set up a double. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that may as well pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. 
Come on, Deb. Shot, Deb. Very good shot. Now I guess uh, she has no other choice. She didn't want to fool with that center line guard to begin with now, though, that Laura Phillips has to, to open things up. Yeah, she did. Jordy was a little casual about the results of that shot. I think it's absolutely a great spot. You know, she's got it in for third shot. I think um, it's third shot. I mean, from here it's hard to tell, but and it's uh, tucked behind the front guard. So Laura, you can see she has no choice but to try and get them things open here. Yeah. Kathy Kerr, just hurry. underway. The first end of oh this God, very important <laughs> hurry, seventh round hurry. game. Newfoundland three well, and one. British well, Columbia well at away. two and one. Yeah. And we'll drive it by Kay. that stone. Okay. Center line, top 12. Because the house is, uh, the stones are not so lively in the house, uh, Vic, uh, you really have to have the ability to keep your weight up a little bit. You've got to be able to, to, you know, to get some action. And the only way you can get the action on this surface is to have, to hit them fairly solidly. So you, <clears throat> all the teams have been having, not all of them, but a good majority of the teams have been having trouble when they've been trying to throw that light bumper weight, that light hack weight, and, and, and they're not getting the results Zing. that they're used to seeing come, because the stones again. on three of the four sheets are not very lively. Yeah. They're running surfaces. Right. When they make contact, you get very little yeah. action. That's good. Whoa. Laurie Garnett. Whoa. Whoa. Shot, Laurie. This BC team has, for the most part, been together about eight years on and off. We hit the one in the 12. Okay, sorry. Let's clean it up a bit. Kathy was asking whether or not they wanted to go after the one through the port. That's the one top 12, but she agrees Whoa. getting off the front one's probably Whoa. the best no. bet here. If they hit it too early, they may jam it on the red. Enough to push Let's it through go, and out the back. Well, opened it up and moved it back. Kathy Cunningham struggled, as you suggested, in, in fact, the whole Newfoundland team in that first game we saw. But you think she's picked up her game, and she's a key to this team, as you know. She certainly is. I mean, every third here is you're, you're going to see in the percentages that uh, normally the thirds are, are your best shooters. And uh, Kathy, we've seen in her a couple years, put on great performances. She was very good this morning. Laura was very good this morning. I think she was 80%. Oh, Laura right. was, and I think Kathy was 78. But oh, uh, she made some great oh, shots. Friend, and she's, uh, we know she's the all-star third from uh, right uh, two years ago, I believe, uh, Linda, was it? Oh, two, right, yeah, right, two yeah, years ago. Four, yeah. And uh, I always, you know, that, that young mind of yours, uh, <laughs> you know, that great memory. Uh, but um, she has great ability and uh, she can throw the up weight as well. So this is just great execution on, on all the... Uh, on all the shots by BC, I mean, they're just placing them perfectly. Difficulty, Linda, I suspect, is now how Lord. do you get it by all the junk at the back? Well, she really wants the dangerous stone. That's the top 12-foot stone gone. It would be nice to clear off another one at the back as well, but they're getting pretty worried about getting in there with skip stones to try and count one even. Kathy Whoa. Cunningham. Whoa! Whoa! Jeez. Okay. It's amazing. Right through Summer, the hole. Yeah, and found a hole own. and took one of her own out. If you design, if you designed a shot mm -hmm. that you made, what would and, if I but it worked here? out horrible for you, that would have been the yeah, shot you would have designed right there because you you left the stone out in front. You drove it through the hole. At least you could have. Strictly rhythm. Grab that phone now. He uses more front stone. What's that in towards that center? There's no movement. Uh, once you come across the center line and get off the center line with that going with the